backyard ufologist. Yay! <laughs> How you doing, you old pirate? So good to see you! Resistance is futile. We need your comment. His brain is gone. Ooh, I'll build my own strength. <laughs> All right. I like the thunder. Hello, this is David, the Backyard Ufologist. Thank you so much for joining us today. I sure do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, give a thumbs up, and most of all, comment and tell us what you think you may be seeing. Take part, people. I sure do appreciate it. I try to answer every comment and try to look at everybody's pictures they send me so if i'm you know haven't saw your picture yet i'm looking at my own and i have a few ahead of you so i will give you my opinion on it for whatever it's worth i tell you uh you have to really be there you know but that's just me and my my stuff but nevertheless i uh, hope you heard me on uh one world government the podcast it was on wednesday if you remember uh, One World Government Radio Hour with Paul Arizona Barrett through the Artist First Radio Network. And you can hear the interview and the panel that I was on at artistsfirst.com slash owg.htm. And it was last Wednesday night, the 26th. It was at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. But it's recorded and it's right there. And all the information is in the description box with the link and it tells you a little bit about Paul Barrett. He's a musician and really good. Got some music out and it's really a cool, cool place. And it's through Artist First Radio Network, One World Government Radio Hour with Paul Arizona Barrett. So make sure you go hear me on the interview. Man, I was just rambling, motor mouth. I tell you, I just go to one thing to another. I guess they just let me go with it, you know, for like 30 minutes and the whole the whole show is like an hour, you know. So anyway, um, I told him before, you know, you're going to have to stop me because I tend to ramble and just keep going on and on. I'm that little microphone like on Saturday morning, you know, the little radio station, the microphone that talked had a little face on it and mouth. <laughs> I'm the human radio station. Hey, well, I appreciate you joining me today. It's been about four days. I would have been with you yesterday, but there was a severe thunderstorm. And this is one of the worst ones I've seen in a long time here in southern New England. And I want to show you uh, the radar. That's going to be my first picture because it's just bizarre. You know, we even got a lightning strike, if you remember, and we're still recovering from that. And it was the hurricane before that, and two transformers were um, were replaced out front. But nevertheless, it's all fixed now. Everything is going fine. So let me go ahead and let's get started today, okay? Oh, first of all, I would say, like to say... If you'd like to make a donation, I sure would appreciate it. All the information is in the description box. I have a Patreon account and PayPal. You can be a monthly Patreon, which I would appreciate very much. Or you can make a one-time payment there also. And you can make a one-time payment through PayPal. All the information is in the description box below. And I do appreciate it very much if you cannot support us that way support us by subscribing and if you're already subscribed make sure you're still subscribed a lot of people getting unsubscribed from some glitch algorithm or something that google youtube's doing i don't know and they just don't have the manpower because of the covid19 virus uh, from what i understand so i don't know what's going on just make sure you're still subscribed and if you're not and if you like it, please subscribe. I do appreciate it very much. A lot of people come, they watch the video, but they forget to subscribe. I go, 80% not subscribing, so i got to say, please subscribe when you come. If you like it, 
and I do appreciate it. If you don't like it, I can understand. You can give me a thumbs down. I don't care. But uh, I'm just showing you what I got here. And if it's not good enough for you, I'm sorry. But anyway, I do appreciate the ones that do do that. And uh, th give me the thumbs up, that is. And uh, I appreciate it very much. Okay, is there any more business? I ought to write this down. I try to do everything from, from memory, you know. And they go, oh, man, I should have said this. I should have said that. But uh, I, I don't want to hold you too long. I've been out a little bit. I called something last night or early this morning around 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. I went out there and uh, there was it, the sky was lightening up. It was probably around 5.30 uh, because the days are, long, uh, are shorter now. Um, it was something, I don't know if it was serious and I said, well, I got it on video. And I said, well, it wasn't moving. So I think it might have been serious in the light sky. And it was really just twinkling really, really big time. But I didn't include it today. All I have is pictures of orbs today. The weather's just been terrible, terrible, terrible. Raining, cloudy, uh, lightning striking everywhere. Thank goodness we got through it this time without any damage at all. I don't know what we would have done if we had more damage, that's for sure. Okay, everybody, thank you. Let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, here's the first picture I wanted to show you. Ha! <laughs> Isn't that something you can tell? This is uh, at 441 yesterday. And can you believe this? Look at the lightning strikes. Now, the little blue dot is where we live, right here on the coast here, on the Long Island Sound. And this I, this has got to be about 500 lightning strikes here in a 10-mile area. And it was really pounding down on us yesterday. But a lot of people got it worse than we did. But look how red this is right here, this thunderstorm. Of course, we're in the pathway of the hurricane. Also, another hurricane that may come through here. They have the track going through the radar there. But you can see how the lightning has struck, uh, struck a lot of places here. And uh, my wife and I were on our way to the gym last night, and it was already dark. And we went over a horizon on the road, and we could see over the Long Island Sound. And then this lightning strike went all the way across the sky, and it was golden, and it was just beautiful, the veins in it, and it lasted a few seconds, and that's really, we haven't seen that in a long time, we, we saw it in Alabama, we, you know, severe thunderstorms down there, they, they don't play down there either, but uh, we haven't seen that in a couple of years, and uh, our mouths just dropped, and we looked at each other and said, wow, isn't that beautiful? the power of that but this was what was going on yesterday about this time so we were fortunate we didn't get a lightning strike but uh, a lot of people did and it was cracking all around us I unplugged everything so if it would have uh, struck hey everything is protected it was unplugged <laughs> so that's what I do from now on now I can't afford this stuff for sure okay let's go to our first picture of the program and here we go this is some kind of orb and you can see there's an entity here and it looks like it's some kind of cat let me see if I can bring that up closer Okay, bringing it up closer, it looks like some kind of feline being. See the eye, eye, nose, and the mouth right there. It's a little pixelized, and but you can see the neck and the chin it comes down right here. And there's an ear, or ear right there, and an ear right there. So that's some kind of feline being right there. It don't look too happy, but there he is. Move on here. Now this is pretty cool. See in the tree right here, something is opening up here. I don't know what it is, but you can see there's an eye, eye, nose, and a mouth, a chin. That's some kind of face right there. Hair or something there. And there's another little something here. Two eyes, a nose, and two eyes and a nose right there. And a little entity right there flying around. You can see that's some kind of little person flying around, gold looking. Could be a little angel, a little fairy. But I don't know what this is. It could be a little ship, you know, like I say, maybe we are the giants. I don't know. <clears throat> but I, what I wanted to show you was right here. 
this is weird look at all the entities around this thing right here this looks like a cat to me and, and I said wow it really does you can see the legs here there's a leg here and maybe a leg there an ear and it looks like it's looking that way maybe or it could be right here eye eye nose and that's the ear and that's the ear I don't know but it's some kind of animal and it's spiritual animal it's not real I mean it's not in a physical form and this is some kind of tail coming through and there's a little entity standing right there I didn't even notice that's some wild stuff this IR camera catches up and I have more of this stuff on the IR camera see right here is a ship that's flying up there the black ship it looks almost like a flying saucer there and uh, we couldn't really see it with my naked eyes but I did see something there flying around out there it's always something and some orbs I can't make out but you can see there's a little entity in there looking through and here's another orb with an entity in it it looks like but you can see that's the ship right there and here is another ship see it flying right there or is this some kind of animal is this a a dragon <laughs> it looks like it doesn't it the the eye the nose right here and the horns on the the nose and the ear and it goes back it could be some kind of ship you know they said they look like uh, insect ships on the moon they were talking about that at one time if you remember that but it's something flying around there something hanging down right here and here's an orb above it and you see an eye eye nose and the mouth right there here's his head and the hair or something going that way and there's all kind of little entities all in here eye eye nose and the mouth they're all smiling so that's a good thing that they're smiling huh yes let's see if we can see anything in this bright one here it's got something orbiting it here yeah there's some kind of entity eye eye now wait a minute here eye eye here's the nose you see the nose just so plain right there you see that and the mouth and these could be ears right here some kind of little feline being some kind of feline-ish thing right there looking over so there was a lot of felines out there uh, the other night for sure and here are some orbs at daybreak you can see this entity here eye eye nose and a mouth right there flying around and this is like a guy's profile right here and his body coming down could be I don't know and then so look at this guy eye eye nose he's got a mustache going right there see him right there I don't know this is some kind of I don't know machinery or something right there it looks like but let's see what else we got here we have an orb right here a little entity see the eye eye nose and the mouth right there little ears right there coming up out of the portal and there's one against the tree right there I can't really tell what that is but you can see there's some kind of stuff coming out of there uh, little entities right here look at this guy right here eye eye nose and the mouth coming up out of the portal there all kind of little entities there right here one right there see that see the eye eye nose and the mouth and he's smiling there's something here looks like a guy right there coming out and this one right here two eyes nose and a mouth right there this is a Merkaba traveling around I I look at the big nose right there with the smile I've seen this before that's it's been out there before something behind it two eyes nose and a mouth not all the way in this reality and this is the one I really wanted to show you it's uh look at the the size of this thing we got some energy coming off of it too has all kind of different things in here look at the profile of this guy right here there's something right there there's something right here and it looks like some writing right there could be I don't know but anyway I usually don't do this but I turned it and I want to show it to you but you can see there's an entity here I uh, the nose the mouth the body coming down there's his head and hair little something right there some kind of little entity I I know it's in the mouth okay let's do that bring it here and you know I'm gonna bring this up a little bit closer if I can I think I can bring it up closer yeah so I, I flipped it sideways 
and because this is what I saw right here see the face right here it's a little bit out of focus and this is as far as I can get with it but you can see the arms come down on some kind of table or console right here and then the arm comes down right here on some kind of console and you can see the face the eye eye nose and the mouth there and I don't know if this is hair or this is some kind of doorway behind them so that was really weird and you see the CM right there and some eyes here nose look at the eye right here eye nose mouth right there just all kind of little entities see the pyramids right here it's wild stuff you can see all kind of different things in these orbs and you really see this right here see two eyes two ears the nose right there and there's a person right there isn't that wild okay now this is pretty cool right here this is ectoplasm I haven't seen this in a while and some kind of spirit that's crossing the portal the the vortex right here and you can see it's just gliding it's got its hand out and you see there's an eye it looks like it's got its head bent down there's something in there inside of it also you can see the eye and the, the mouth right there almost like a beak it comes down and you can see all the ectoplasm right here isn't that so cool yes this is a ghost we have it right here the spirits they are all around here sometimes they come and look at this right here how clear that is I don't even know what that is it's just part of him I guess flying around you see the little face right there and there's a little face right here looking at us see the eye eye nose I don't know what that is it's see here's another one eye eye nose and the mouth right here and the lips you can really see the lips right there I don't know what this is these are things that are checking us out they're talking about us it looks like and they're just gliding across there's a little entity here that's following it it could be its mother or something this could be a parallel universe and we're looking pe peeking through uh, where it's very <clears throat> very thin maybe I don't know and then there's a face right there as you can see two eyes nose and a mouth looking through it's an orb little portal there here's an orb right here coming through uh, don't really see anything right off hand you probably see better than I do there's something going on right here looks like some kind of entity little entities all through here it's so pixelized here's one eye eye nose and a mouth right there and a little something there and there looks like an ET and there's one right there it's all kind of different geometry and stuff right there for sure but there you go look at that isn't that cool and there's an orb right there on the quartz boulder where the fairy statue is right there and you can see faces all in that also see that isn't that cool and an IR camera really picks up a lot and there's a spirit right there you know and here's an orb this is at daybreak and I saw this behind it see the guy right here the eye eye nose and the mouth and the hair it has a halo behind his head most religious paintings have this behind people's heads if they're saints and things of that nature and you can see that it looks like a feline eye eye nose mouth and there's the ears right there there's something here two eyes nose and a mouth with a beard or a goatee there and this right here is an eye and it looks like a dinosaur or maybe a reptilian right there you see it yeah could be could be there's good reptilians out there also from what i understand and look at that here's another cat eye eye nose and the mouth right there looks like it's looking through something peeking through right there coming through a hole in the portal just like they do in real life here they come through little tight places but yeah you can see that's a cat right there it's just pretty as you please isn't that wild isn't that some wild stuff <laughs> i'm telling you it's crazy uh there's a little entity there here's one right here two eyes nose you can see the mouth right there kind of looks like a feline being see the nose and the mouth right there there's one eye can't see the other eye but yes 
coming up out of the portal. There's an eye, eye, nose, and a mouth right there. And they're looking at us, you see? They're saying, where are we? Where are we coming out of this portal? Who is this guy? You know? So I think they may be getting used to it. But I don't know. This could be just a, a highway, a super highway. And it's all different people here, different entities. And a little something there looks weird. Something right there is spiritual flying around and glowing. You can see this thing has wings. I don't know what it is right there. It could be a bug. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. Could be that globe, that garden globe also. All right. Let's move on here. Now, here is another one that just blew my mind when I saw it. See the eye, eye, the nose and the mouth right there, and the ears, the head, and it almost looks like Bigfoot, doesn't it? And it's gliding, got its arm out here. Looks like his arm comes down, but look right here. This looks like an ear, an ear, and this looks like it's biting him. It's like a cat, and his nose is right here, and here's his mouth. Looks like he's biting them or holding on. See his paws going around him there. I guess the other one goes on the other side. Is he attacking him or is he just holding on to him? He's his friend. I don't know. I could not tell. And then there's another one there. Eye, eye. See the nose, the mouth, and the ears right there. But I've seen this thing before. And I want to show you real quick. Now you see this? Here he is right here. This was last winter. See the two eyes, the mouth, see the head? Look at this arm coming down, would you? And you can see the fingers right here. And then there's something in front of him. It kind of looks like some kind of little entity that was attached to him or around him. And a little one right here. See right here? Isn't that cool? And I go, wow, what? This is returned. He's come through here again. He's looking at me. He don't look like he's really that bad. I'm going to tell you. Uh, I do First John 414. I do clearings. We have benevolent entities here. We have angels here. I've showed it to you. So if they are malevolent, they don't stick around too long. But see this entity right here? See him? And he's looking at me. Okay, now see, here he is again, right here. He looks just a little different. So look, he's got teeth. You can see him right there. See the teeth? And the eye, and the eye, and the ears, the head, right here. And then this is an ear, an ear, and a cat right here. And he's holding on, biting him or something right there. He's got his paws around him. And you can see there's something right here. Two eyes, <laughs> nose, and a mouth. Uh, a lot of spirits out there sometime here on the Hammonesset ley line, that's for sure. And I did catch that. Isn't that something? Look at that. Isn't that so cool? And then there he is right there. Uh, months, I guess about a year ago. This is in the winter time. So yeah, it was this last winter, this past winter. And you see all these things around there. All right, let's move on here. And here's some more ectoplasm. And I'm thinking this is some kind of animal. It's flying. This might be a leg, or it could be walking a big leg right here. And here's the body and the wing. And the head comes up. Looks like an ear. Comes right through here. Uh, almost looks like a big old deer, doesn't it? <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but it's spiritual. It looks like there's a nose, eye, eye, and it looks like it's looking. It's turned looking at us now that I look at it right there. It sure does. You can zoom out a little bit. See the eye, eye, ear, 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 and here's the body. Yeah, that looks like some kind of spiritual deer. And we have a lot of deers here, so it could be the spirit for sure. And that's a big old bright orb right there, golden. And you see a lot of eyes right here. You see an eye, eye, nose, and a mouth. I see an eye right here. I see an eye right here and a mouth that's sideways. Here's an eye, eye, nose, and a mouth right there. Gosh, you can see that. It looks like a little flying saucer right there, doesn't it? Like I said, maybe we are the giants, you know? And here's another orb. Can't really see anything in here. I see two eyes, nose, and a mouth right there. It's really pixelized. But you see all the little faces in here and the eyes sticking out? That's just so wild. Just not all the way into this reality. And there's the big uh, quartz boulder there. And it looks like something on the side of it. I don't know. It looks like it to me. I see all kind of things here. And if you look right over here, 
this is a feline being right here. You see the eye and the eye right here. Here's an ear and an ear. I've seen this before. There's something next to him that I did not get. It wasn't all the way into the frame, but you can see there's an eye, nose, and a mouth, and that's about it. But this one here, I did catch eye, eye, nose, and mouth. I've seen this before here, and I'm going to show you. You see this one? Look at it real closely. You see it right there? Now, look at this. See the eye, eye, nose, the ear right here, the ear right here. It looks Egyptian, doesn't it? And this looks like something looking at it, an eye, a nose, and a mouth, and a big beard right here. Oh, wow. It could be some kind of master right there. And then it could be something right here. Eye, eye, nose, and a mouth, and a beard right there. Wow, it's just so much. And there's something in the chair right here. It looks like he's got his knees in the chair. The arm comes down and he's looking right there. You see that? And there's an ear here, ear here, eye, eye. And the nose, it looks like some kind of feline being that's huge. It's not the kind of felines that we have here. You know what I mean? And look at this. This looks like Bigfoot or something looking through. Uh, spiritual Bigfoot coming through the portal on the tree right there. You see that? They're all in spiritual form. Here's one right here standing or setting. Two eyes, two ears, the nose and the mouth and the body coming down. But isn't that something? Can you see the cat? See the nose right here? Two eyes, the ear, the face right here. Now, we'll, we'll see if we can go back. Can we go back? No? Can I go back? Come on, what's going on? Mm -mm. It's stuck. Yeah, it is stuck. Now yeah, I'll see if it again. Okay, let's go back there and you see it. Yep, see it right there? And it's not as good as the other one, but you can see that's basically the same entity right there. <laughs> isn't that something? That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Okay, here's one right here is a orb. And you see the entity here, eye, eye, nose, and the mouth, and the ears. It's like some kind of uh, feline being there. And there's a being here with some feathers for hair or something. Could be Native American. Looks like he's got a cigar or something sticking out of his mouth. Or maybe he's vaping. I don't know. It could be. There's an entity here. It's all kind of entities here. You can screen shoot that, pause it, and look at it. See the two eyes, two ears right there, and the mouth. Yeah, two eyes right there, two eyes right there. You can see it everywhere. <clears throat> but what I wanted to show you here is the Palladian ship. This is the Palladians, and they come around a lot here. And I'm going to zoom in here. Now I'm going to zoom in here and show you. Now look at this. You see these stacks how they come up there and there's two stacks there some kind of stuff or plasm coming off of it you see the field around it and uh, it's moving right above the heminescent ley line right where we are I do ask the Palladians to come and they do show up I just may not show up like you want them to but they do show up and there they are right there isn't that cool isn't that just cool And that's them right there. And let's move on here. And there's an orb there. And let's see if we can bring this up closer. And you can see that's some kind of entity. Eye, eye, nose, and mouth right there. And something behind him. A portal. A doorway something there behind him right there but you can see there's an entity there and the next palladian ship was right over here i can bring it up closer this is about best i can do right here and then that's gone or it's another ship you can see it right here another palladian ship i do say palladian because that's who i feel that it is i could feel it and I asked them to come, and I do believe that was them for sure. But wild stuff, huh? Wild stuff in my backyard, folks. 
Now this was a few days ago, the moon right here in a cloudy sky right there. It almost looks like a face right there. Uh, I don't think it is, it's just some clouds right there. But these things right here and this thing right here looks like some kind of ship. That's some kind of ship right there coming through the sky. You can tell that that's a ship. It's not an arrow pointing the way. It could be. And we pick a lot of things up with this IR camera. But this is a ship right here. This is one of the... I don't know what ship this is. I, I, I It may be reptilian. I don't know. Uh, just It's a triangular ship. And there's something trailing behind it. I've seen that before. And if you see right here, this could be a break in the clouds, but it sure is pronounced right here. I believe this is the, one of the big ships, triangle later, triangle ships that we have, triangular ships that we have right here. This looks like a triangular ship right here, and you can't see anything else. It's so huge. And then there's like an orb or a portal here. See the two eyes, nose, and the mouth right here, the head. I see so many things here. You can see a hand here, an arm, two eyes, nose, and a mouth right here. This is some kind of portal in the clouds. All kind of different things are living up there. We do not live on a world that most people think we do. You may think those are just clouds, but I'm going to tell you there are things in these clouds, and that's for sure. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, right here is another aero ship right there. And you can see it flying right there. And uh, really a dark ship right there. It's hard to see sometimes, especially with the naked eye. You really do need the IR camera, the Aurora night vision camera to see these things. The IR really picks up a lot of stuff that our human eyes can't see, the visual spectrum. We, we're just not able to do it. We need the technology. You can see there's an eye here, eye here, nose, and mouth. That's an orb with some kind of entity in it right there. Okay, let's move on here. Now, this is the Aurora a night vision camera. It makes me feel like I'm in a dream here. When it gets a little lit up, it really shows more detail. And I just wanted to show you this right here. This looks like an entity, eye, eye, nose, and a mouth right there. Kind of look like it. But right here, there's a head that's tilted. Here's the body. The arm comes down. The other arm comes down to this little entity, eye, eye, nose. You see the ears right there? It looks like he's holding a bone. If that's not his hand or something right there, he may be eating something. We may be seeing a parallel universe or a different time right here for sure and then you see there's an entity behind him looking up and then here's an entity standing right here there's a yin yang orb right there now right here is the garden globe that's really you can see it's a little bit brighter it is reflecting the IR camera beam and things right all in here just really weird stuff right here that, that's picking up. I don't know much about it, but I know that there's something there, and you can see it. It's just clear as day right there. That's what I wanted you to see. It's right there, and it's looking at us, too. It sees us. I couldn't see it without the camera, and then later bringing it up like this, but they were seeing me, it looks like, because they were looking right at me. I don't know what this is right here. It was something trying to come through. But I see all kind of different stuff with this IR camera out there. Now, here's another one. And I want you to see this right here. Do you see something sitting in this chair? It's really weird. There's an eye here, eye here, a nose and a mouth. And it's looking down at something. It's got its arms around it. It's smiling. Has two eyes, nose and the hair. And it li it's like giving love, giving a hug. It's like, hey, baby, come on. We got to go. And look at this. This face. Eye, eye, nose and a mouth right here. <laughs> isn't that something? And then, I don't know. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh, then there's like an orb right there. And then there's something right here standing, as you can see. Pretty as you please. Look at this down here. Two eyes, nose, and mouth, and the ears coming up. 
And then there's something looking up right here, two eyes, nose, and the mouth. You see the head and the neck going down. I mean, there's all kind of portals and things coming out of these trees. I mean, this is just a high energy area with all the quartz boulders and stuff. Now, the quartz boulder comes around like this. There's something on top of it. See the two eyes, the nose, and the mouth, and the head right there? And it looks like a big guy, and he goes all the way down on it right here. You see that right there? Isn't that something? That is crazy. I wanted to show it. I had to show it, you know. And there's n another little arrow right there like we're seeing in the sky. I don't know what's going on out there, but I do show it. And that's like a little portal that's open. You see the eye here, eye here, the face and the head. Looks like a gray alien right there with something like a dog looking up on the console right there. See the nose and two eyes, two ears. Yes. Yes, look at that. Isn't that something? God, it's just wow what goes on out there. And that's it for today. Hey, that's the show, and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did bringing it to you. It's TGIF. A lot of people got paid today. Going out and have a great time. Be safe out there. I can't tell you to wear a mask. I'm starting to wonder about that. If you're sick, yeah, I think I'd wear a mask if you have symptoms. If not, I, I just don't know about that. Um, we can't do that forever. I mean, if you're sick, yeah, you know, wear the mask. It doesn't really help that much anyway. But, you know, you can get through the eyes and touch. And, and they don't know anything about what's going on with this thing. They learn something new every day. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Just be careful and use common sense. Pray. Repent. Okay? Make sure you subscribe, like, share, give a thumbs up, and most of all, be sure to comment and tell us what you think you're seeing. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope that you'll go to One World Government, the radio hour with Paul Arizona Barrett Radio Network. He's a musician, and he really has some great music also. Yeah, I had a good time on the program, and the information is in the description box so go and listen and check him out so he's really good also james gillian uh he has a radio show every saturday night at 11 p.m eastern time i guess that would be what eight o'clock pacific time so he's in washington state my buddy james gillian and peter maxwell slattery and east city Australia. Hopefully we'll be good friends. I hope so anyway. I'll see you in a couple of days. I'm ready to party. All the storms and stuff has got me crazy. But anyway, this is David, the Backyard Geopologist. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Spread love and life. Bye-bye, everybody.